Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Working with everybody's favorite round here, the 30 Super Carry. Now, before you run off and throw oh, auto like that, answer a question that was never asked. Just know this is not your everyday 30 Super Carry. I've been working with a fella from High Point Firearms, and he has developed these 56.4 grain bullets. Look at this. Monolithic bullets here. These are four pedal and they are screamers. I did get some load data from him. So I'm working on something here a little bit. None of the data has been published here. I don't think these bullets are even available yet. They're 0.312 diameter. Actually, I do know when these are gonna be available because I just read my emails and found that they're supposed to be ready in a couple weeks, but my videos typically come out or published on YouTube four, five, six weeks after I actually create the videos, upload them the whole nine yards. So they should be available right now, actually. So by the time you're seeing this video, these bullets should be ready on VelocitasBullets.com, which are the people that helped make this bullet possible. There's also a 70 grainer coming out soon. And keep in mind, guys, these bullets were designed to compete with the 5.7 by 28. Think about that. Get this 56 grain bullet up close to 1800 feet per second you're out there competing with it so anyways there's that but he has been working with hodgden on developing load data i've got some safe ranges here to work with for some hs6 they do have a actual some actual data worked up for i think cfe pistol i don't have any of that right now so i'm working with this hs6 and what i'm doing here is I'm working up in these ranges and I, I found a pretty good spot just doing single fires. I found a pretty good little range here that I like what I'm seeing, but I didn't see a huge jump from, I've start, I started at 8.3, went to 8.6, and I didn't see a huge jump from the 8.3 to 8.6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load three of the 8.3s, three 8.6s, and then we're going to go on up to 8.8 .8 and see if we can get anything there. I'm not seeing any pressure signs, which it's kind of hard to see pressure signs in a handgun semi-automatic, especially a small one like this using rifle primers. But I have a couple. Let me find one here. Oh, they're in my pocket. I have a couple here that I've fired. I can show you the primers real quick. Uh, no real pressure signs there. Everything looks good. So that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. And we're gonna make some new data for a new bullet in a new cartridge. And he's saying he's gonna send me a carbine here soon. So if that comes through, that'll be pretty cool. And I can imagine these suckers are going to be flying out of a carbine because I'm getting over 1,700 feet a second, heftily over 1,700 feet a second from these low charges. So we're going to bump it on up, see what we can get. Go from there. Y'all are coming with me. All right. I have 8.3 grains, three of them loaded in here. Let's see what velocities we get from this. Seventeen hundred even. Seventeen fourteen. Seventeen forty five. Now let's load up the eight point six grain charges. All right, lot number two loaded up. Seventeen thirty three. 1769, 1763. Seems like a little bit more consistent. All right, lot three, this is 8.8 .8 grains, HS6. Now I am gonna be tracking these brass down as I shoot them because I wanna see the primer. So you'll have to bear with me on that. Seventeen eighty. Seventeen 
Here is our brass. There's the primer. I don't see any issues there. 1780. All right. Grab that brass. Everything looks good with that one as well. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right. 1795, guys. All right. Everything looks good there. Hmm. That's probably about as far as I want to push it, honestly. I think that's, I think pushing 1800 feet a second. I think that's good. Let's go, uh, let's go get a gel block. What do you think? See what one of these looks like inside of a gel block. There you have it guys, there's our wound track. Pretty good looking wound track right here. Our pedals shear off and set right there. You can see them there in the gel. And here is our base at the very end of the block. You can almost poke it, maybe can. Almost a hole there for the base. So 16 inches of penetration with the base. There's our pedals, there's our wound track. So there you've seen it in jail. The last two readings that we got, because we had one error on the 8.8 .8 grain charge. Average of the two came out to be 1787. And with the 56.4 grain bullet, we got exactly 400 foot pounds. Get that out of the way. Exactly 400 foot pounds of energy from the little 30 super carry. So, and that's from a 3.1 inch barrel. That little round would be scooting from a carbine if I was a betting man. Let me know what you think about in the comments down below. How do you think this little bullet did in the 30 Super Carry? Can't wait to hear from you guys. Till next time, guys, stay tuned.